most exciting episode of this dinosaur series. Today, guys, we're going to be taming the absolute strongest dinosaur in the entire world. A T-Rex. Psych! If you thought it was a T-Rex, boom! You're wrong! I was wrong for a very long time, for years and years and years, actually. I thought the T-Rex was, you know, the strongest dinosaur in the entire world. Like, who doesn't think that? Well, apparently, that could not be further from the truth. There is a dinosaur called the Ankylosaurus. It's not even that big! It's literally not even a very big dinosaur, but it's got really big spikes on it and a really big mace as a tail. The tail is literally really long, and then it's got a big spiky ball at the end of it. I'm pretty sure it just does a little spin around and just smacks things in the face with it. So anyway, guys, what we're gonna be doing today is hopefully, fingers crossed, taming this wild beast. Now, I'm pretty sure I've actually seen a couple of them already in the series, but I didn't really think too much of it. I was like, oh, nice, cool, you know, other little dinosaur. But turns out, the thing's a little, the thing's a little Tasmanian devil. And why just say I was slain by a Velociraptor? Is there a Velociraptor that has intruded my base and has uh, killed my, wait, wait, are we okay? What the heck? My two dinos just fought each other and killed each other. Why would you do that? It was my micro raptor. No, not my micro raptor, bro. He was my favorite. Dude, he was actually my favorite dinosaur. Of all these dinosaurs that I have, by far the Microraptor was my favorite. Velociraptor, listen man, that's just really not cool at all. I'm gonna have to block him off because I think that he actually sleepwalks guys and kills other dinosaurs in his sleep. There's a couple of dinos that actually do that. Another one is the T-Rex. If we actually go into our dino encyclopedia, You'll see that if it says will attack other dinosaurs right here, which is the T-Rex does that, basically means that even if they're tamed, I'm pretty sure that they still attack any dinosaur that they feel like, regardless or not, if they're even tamed on your own side. And Velociraptors also are one of those dinosaurs that will literally attack any other dinosaur that they freaking see. So I gotta be really careful and oh my gosh, dude, I actually can't believe that we found one already. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is indeed an Ankylosaurus. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not sure I've ever said that in my life. And look at these two dolphins just going at it. I know they're not actually dolphins, by the way. I don't know what they're actually called. But anyway, let's go ahead and try to tame this guy. Now, I do have a couple of nets, which is something that it's really buggy. I don't know. Some days the nets work and some days they don't. Today, I think that they are working. Hi, buddy. He's so friendly as well. Like T-Rexes and all the other big bad dinosaurs are normally really super aggressive. But this guy is actually really chill. Um, but if you look, these are actually a bunch of spikes on his back. It doesn't really look like it because they're not poking out. Maybe when he gets in the battle, he just, he like unsheathed all of his spikes and then he just spikes everything. And then here is like that mace club as a tail that I was talking about. But yeah, guys, who the heck would have thought that this thing is the strongest dino? We have b b the Brachiosaurus things. We have Spinosauruses. You know, we got a bunch of crazy dinosaurs. And then this thing is the freaking strongest. I literally had no idea. Well, anyway, before we actually do try to tame this guy, let's go to the Dino Encyclopedia and try to find. Now, here are the stats of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And so keep that in mind. And then we're going to go to the Ankylosaurus, which is pretty far down. And here we are. Here is the Ankylosaurus, which basically has the exact same stats as the Tyrannosaurus Rex, except it has one more health point. Also, it is an herbivore that does not attack things on site. And that's one thing that I really like a lot is that it does not attack other dinosaurs on site. It's really good because that means I can basically take this guy out and not have to worry about him acting up or, you know, being all crazy or anything. One bad thing, though, is I only have four oak leaves. So he's an herbivore and I don't really have much food for him. So hopefully he tames really quick. He has been looking at me and sniffing me a lot. Hopefully he likes what he sees. You know, I've been working out. I've been working on my butt a little bit. Hopefully he sees that. and He's like, dang, I want to be on your side. And it only takes one oak leaf to tame him. Let's see. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nope. Okay. Okay, guys, before we use our next three leaves, basically the way that this works and the hundred percent, this is proven. You have to smash the like button. The more times you hit the like button, the better chance that I have of actually taming this guy. So here we go. Come on. Come on. Hit the like button. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yay. Nope. You didn't hit enough guys. Come on. We need more likes. Here we go. Three, two, one, yeet. Okay. All right. Did we hit a million likes yet? We have to hit a million likes for this to work. Three, two, one. Okay. You know what? Just not cool at all. That's really like the opposite of cool. Now, the thing is, we do have a good amount of emeralds, so we can go and get some more oak leaves. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as getting shears and just shearing down uh, leaves to feed them. You actually do have to buy it with emeralds. So I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go to town and buy some more leaves so that we can tame that guy. Hopefully, he doesn't despawn. 
Speaking about these spawning though, this Spinosaurus has been stuck in this pond, bobbing up and down for like the past four episodes. He will not go away. I think he's just terrorizing all of my dinos while they're trying to sleep. He's literally just looking at them, just yelling. Well, what I'm gonna do actually is take out my, this isn't a Triceratops apparently, I, I, I thought it was. But I, I, I tamed it and it was like, nah, it's not actually a Triceratops. So whatever this thing is, is what I will ride back into the city. All right, so we are back in town now. And one thing I wanna show you guys as well that I totally 100% forgot about is you can actually buy upgrades for your dinosaur. One of those upgrades is actually a armor upgrade where you can actually put armor on your dinos, which is pretty intense. Another one is a chest upgrade, which allows you to store a bunch of items in your chest. And another one is a crossbow upgrade, which allows you to attach a freaking crossbow onto your gosh dang dinosaur. And lastly, we have war drums. I kind of forget what this does, to be honest, but it's, I think, something pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and buy a couple of these. Let's get a bunch of them, actually, because one, I obviously want to tame, tame the Ankylosaurus, but also, pretty sure the dino I was riding here is really injured. Um, I don't even know where he is anymore. But some of those upgrades uh, are, are actually really, really good. So I might put them on the Ankylosaurus or maybe on a T-Rex or something. I'm not sure if every dino can get it. I doubt every single dino can get those upgrades. But we'll see. I'm going to try to put them on as many di Excuse? Do you know who I am? Excuse me? Do you even know who I am? That's right. Yeah. Sit down, little boy. I don't actually know how to check this dude's health. And the reason I got him off him earlier, by the way, is because he doesn't listen. He does not listen to me. Look, I want to go that way, and he's running the complete opposite direction. And if I look this way, he still runs that way. Like, what? I don't know how to control this thing. He only works if I walk backwards. I don't... I don't know. This is so ridiculous, dude. What the heck is going on? All right, we're almost back at the Ankylosaurus. Our cave is right over there. But anyway, I think he's right up and over here. And here comes our dino. In case anything goes bad, hopefully he can protect us a little bit against this absolute wildebeest of a dino. Okay, and he is still here, luckily. I don't think dinosaurs actually despawn on this map, which is really nice. Um, good and bad, because that means that I just have a Spinosaurus. Bro, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? That was so unnecessary. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm on him. I'm on him. There we go. Yeah! Get wrecked, nerd. And then we got this little rug rat trying to kill him as well. What is up with you? Why does everything try to kill you? Let's go, bro. Let's go take this Ankylosaurus. What are you doing? Like, what? What? Is, what is that guy doing? Ah, he used to be my favorite dino, and now he's, he's going lower and lower on the list. But anyway, let's go ahead. We got 15 oak leaves. Okay, that's got to be enough. I know that you guys have already left a like, so... You know, the luck is at... Excuse me! Excuse me! We're not fighting him! No, no, no! You do not fight the Ankylosaurus. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. All right. If you haven't done so yet, obviously, leave a like. It takes literally two seconds, and it helps with my luck. It's confirmed. It is fact. I, I would never lie about that. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Three, two, one, yeet! Boom, baby! First try. That's right. Probably what happened is when I went to go get my oak leaves to feed him more... He was thinking about it a lot. He was pondering. He was like, hmm, you know, that was a terrible, terrible decision. And so now he was the, the first opportunity that he got to join my team, he did. Can I actually ride him? I can't. I can't ride this thing. Are you serious? That's kind of lame. It's literally the strongest dinosaur in the entire world, and I can't ride it? That's kind of actually very lame. Well, anyway, if you guys leave a nickname down below for this guy, that'd be pretty awesome. What? Like, this guy's a psycho. He literally is a psycho. He just doesn't care about anything. Like, what? He's just jumping. What are you doing? Oh. What are you doing, buddy? Like, come on. I think he's just really excited that we tamed the strongest dinosaur in the entire world. He's like, yeah, let's go. He has on our side. No way. Well, anyway, that is actually pretty awesome. Because if you guys know, Adam and I actually are planning on going to war sometime soon. And this guy is going to be a really, really big helping hand in that big old war. Also, speaking of the Spinosaurus, apparently it's just not tame. You guys have told me that in real life, it gets tamed by fish. You feed a fish, it eats fish, it likes fish. Apparently, it's not tameable in this. So if you go to the Spinosaurus, which is right here, it says untamable under traits. Yep, I did not know that. So I'm very sorry for the past couple of episodes. I've literally tried to tame the guy um, and it did not let me tame it. And I wouldn't understand why. Oh, the, the Dimetrodon is untamable as well. And so is the Iguanodon. I did not realize that there were actually untamable ones. And the Ichtyrosaurus. Ichtyrosaurus. I definitely butchered that. Let's try to actually take out a dino. I want to see how strong this boy actually is. So what I'm going to do is just poke this guy once right in the butt. 
and then see what the Ankylosaurus is made of. If he dies, like, I don't know, my life is a lie. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yay! Get him, boy! Attack! Yeah! Yeah! Nice, dude! Oh, they're actually both tag teaming them very well. Look at him use, like, these swerve maneuvers. He's like a snake in there. And I don't think that they've hit him once. Oh, gosh. He definitely hit me a couple times, though. And there we go. Down he goes. I literally had to do nothing except for poke him one time. And then it went down. And that was a Stegosaurus as well, which is one of the stronger dinosaurs. All right, let's try this thing. I think this is a Pachyphilosaurus or something. Like a Pachyphilosaurus. What's up, bro? Listen, you should probably just run away. Do you see what's behind you? Do you see what's freaking behind you, bro? All right, actually, we'll just turn around. One thing, though, is he's really slow. He's definitely very, very slow, which I'm not sure if there's a way for me to improve that. I don't know if there's any upgrades I can do that would help, but that's like his one bad trade. Hey, what are you doing? Yo, you want some of this? You want some of this, boy? Oh, wait, this is mine. What? Where the heck have you been? Where did you even come from, bro? What? I'm so confused. But hey, another dino added to the collection. Also, guys, I do have two dino cookies, which... What they do is they actually allow your dinos to breed. You give one cookie to one, you give one cookie to the other, and then apparently they breed. So what I think I'm going to do is hopefully next episode I can tame another Ankylosaurus because they don't actually seem too hard to tame. And then maybe I can actually breed them together and have three Ankylosauruses. And then Adam's going to be in real big bad trouble. But yeah, next episode I'm definitely going to breed something. They have to be of the exact same species, so it's not like I can tame that guy and that one or the stego and the ankylosaurus and they have to be the exact same species i don't know where my pterodactyl went he's just he he comes and goes he does as he pleases i think that this might actually be his dead body so maybe he's just dead but anyway guys that is gonna be it for today thank you all so much for watching we did manage to tame the absolute strongest dinosaur in the entire game and I think I'll actually be able to tame a couple more of them in preparation for the battle against Adam. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you, dudes.